autofocus settings to help you improve your shooting speed and efficiency in the field. Now in this video, we're gonna use a Canon R6 as a guide, but all of these settings should be more or less in the same place across the entire platform from the Canon RP all the way to the Canon R5. I guarantee no matter what level you are in photography with your Canon R series camera, one of these settings is probably going to help you out and surprise you that it exists. And a friendly reminder, turn off your continuous autofocus while in photography settings so that you don't kill your battery while you're out there shooting. Now, before we jump into the camera settings, I have a free guide to the menu systems for the RP R6 and the Canon EOS R. I said it right that time. For all of you that hate that, I said it right. So let's go over to the camera. So as many of you know, the joystick or the multi-controller in the top corner controls your AF focus point, but it doesn't come this way for the factory. You can go into the buttons and all the way down at the bottom and turn that on. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but I am gonna show you how to get it a little bit more customized, 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 keep that in. Sensitive, sensitivity AF P select. And you go here and you can turn down the sensitivity of the autofocus so it's really slow or you can turn it up so that it's really fast and I prefer the fast personally and so the next one is a good reason to use your control ring and so I have the control ring set up to select my autofocus uh, when it's actually set to the controller so I am switching through all my autofocus settings or selections that I can have with the control ring. And that's pretty awesome because it makes it easy to switch over from the autofocus, the face focus, to one of these points. And I find that to be the hardest thing because if you're switching from a person to a bird or something that's in a specific place or a building, you want to switch that autofocus selection as quickly as possible so that you don't miss the shot. As well, I have the AF button to the back set to eye autofocus. And the front one is usually on one of these selectors, uh, the regular focus points. So the back one is uh, face focus. So if I actually had a face down there, it would focus on it and the front one is the regular autofocus. And you can change this autofocus setting once again in the buttons. I'll actually show you how to do this one since this one isn't quite as common. Customize buttons. And then we're gonna go down to the AF on, and I have it set to eye focus. You can set it to all these different things, turning it off or different selections, but I keep it on the eye focus and I find that to be a wonderful thing, especially for using or going to events where you just need to be able to use the back button focus and, you know, catch people's eye. That's what they want. It's like a bunch of portraits, but people, you know, partying or whatever they're doing, getting married or whatnot. So most of this is pretty straightforward. AF operations, uh, one shot or servo, uh, AF methods, we just told, talked about that, uh, subject detect, the eye detect when it's on people. The continuous autofocus is the one that I recommend you turn off so that your battery doesn't die when you're out shooting. Movie AF is a little bit different and we'll go over a few of those things, but since this is mostly photography, we're just gonna stay away from that. Then the touch and drag settings. When you go in here, you can click enable and it allows you to, while you're up in the viewfinder, to use the back screen as a controller like the joystick almost, but on the back screen. And relative, what this is gonna do when you swipe on the screen is it's gonna move it in that direction, whereas absolute is wherever you are pressing on the screen, it's gonna go there. I prefer relative. As well, I have to use the active touch area bottom right because 
everywhere else I tend to find my nose or my cheek swipes it and then the autofocus selection area just goes crazy and goes somewhere random. So I keep it to the bottom right. This next one is the one that I was telling you that a Canon employee had to tell me what it is. And I think this is a secret weapon because you're able to harness the autofocus power, manual focus power, and the magnification power that the Canon mirrorless world has to offer. So when you select here, usually it's disabled after one, but when you set it to one shot enabled, what will happen here is when you focus on it and hold the button halfway down, half to pressed, you are then able to select and move your focus point as it goes. Isn't that crazy? You can see it go on the, on the couch right there as that red goes across it. As well, there's the green selection tool. Uh, to adjust these so that they actually are of use to you because they won't automatically come set up. So you want to go into the second one and focus mode AF on. That's because we have the 50 millimeter 1.8, which doesn't have a focus ring on it. So it's the uh, control ring that it's controlling that. So to get the red, you have to go into the manual focus peaking settings. On, high, and choose your color. That'll enable that. Then the focus guide, turn that on, and that was the one that I'm telling you about right here where you can see the, the arrows. That's the manual focus guide. When it turns green and those arrows come together, that area underneath the focus area is in focus. And it gets better for that one setting that I showed you, the lens electronic manual focus you can get the magnify setting to work with you. So when you have to press it and then you change, it will go in. Look at that. You can see exactly what is in focus. Now, unfortunately, the red section of this isn't there, but that's not the most important thing uh, when you're so magnified in as well. You can then select the, while you're doing it here, you just select the magnify, in, I guess it's a magnifying glass, and that will zoom you in already. So we have the five zoom and the 10 zoom. Bonus tip, I guess. As well in this area that is relevant to the focus ringings is the RF lenses, manual focus ring sensitivity and their direction. The very straightforward sensitivity uh, is either due to the rotational degree of it or the rotational speed and I prefer the degree. Now these settings in here, I'm just gonna briefly breeze over them. They're not gonna be too relevant, but the one shot AF release prior pretty much means uh, it's always gonna take a photo, even if your subject isn't in sharp focus yet. And this one's always gonna prioritize and get the subject in focus before it will release the shutter, which this is good if you have a higher f-stop and you're shooting like sports or something. Switching track subjects, uh, initial priority, or switch, and in the between is good for me. If you are going to like a race or something and people are coming really quickly, it might be better to have it uh, set to switch. Uh, limiting the modes, I've turned off one of these because I find it just kind of clutters it, and then if I didn't want to use either of those, I'd, I'd set that. And then orientation linked AF point. This is pretty cool because now I have two separate AF points for when I am in landscape versus when I am in portrait because the focus points are very different where you're going to put them for these different ones. And it kind of just speeds up the workflow as I switch between these two orientations. The AF point will move without me having to move it on my own, which is super nice. All right, so this has been the AF in the field, best options to speed up your workflow. If you're having trouble finding your way through the menu systems on any of your Canon mirrorless cameras, I have a guide linked down in the description that you can go download for free that should help you get through the menu system faster and easier. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for everything mirrorless Canon cameras so that you can go out and nail your next photo shoot. My name is Daniel and thank you so much for watching.